this one is called Anime fans are really dumb sometimes. Not sometimes, I say most of the times. Tell me, Kenshan, what are we dumb about? Some people think shonen is peak, but romance is boring. Some people. Shonen is peak, but romance is boring. That's probably the audience that knows shonen for only battle shonen, right? Because shonen, I think the term literally means like young boys. And Shonen Jump is a publication that compiles all these different series that will appeal to that demographic. And Naruto, One Piece, Bleach, the big three, even Dragon Ball. A lot of these battle shonens, right? Shows meant for young kids that are mostly engrossed in action, combat. That's what they care about. So if you introduce the romance demon, maybe that audience is going to say, nah, we don't want that shit. Cringe. In his peak, but romance is boring. Some people think romance has great characters, but shonen is poorly written. Yeah, and I think that both can be true. I think romance can be boring, and I think shonen can have terrible writing. Battle shonen plot themes, absolutely. Now, fairy tale is getting thrown on the bus here, which is sad because I see fairy tale being shit on a lot of times, and I hear that fairy tale is not even that bad. If you think either of these things, you're dumb, but it's not your fault. There's mm -hmm. a common misconception that shonen is that action genre about fights between superpowered teenagers. And even in this, right, and this is a battle shonen, right? Romance does exist in Naruto. It's not an important, you know, plot device, but the theme of romance, I think, is definitely there. It's not the main thing, but it's there. But the popular romance manga Nisekoi, the cooking manga Food Wars, mm. and the manga manga Bakuman all serialized in the most exclusive shonen magazine. Shonen Weekly Jump. Shonen Jump. There it is. Do most of the biggest hits of all time. How did those miscellaneous series meet the criteria to be in the same magazine as Dragon Ball, Yu Yu Hakusho, and One Piece? Uh, maybe Shonen Jump got desperate as they realized that their battle shonen is not selling well anymore. They tried to expand their repertoire by introducing these other shows that is not a battle shonen, but still maybe for that younger men audience. Well, because shonen isn't a genre at all. Shonen is a demographic. Exactly. Let me explain. In Japan, published media is divided into demographics instead of genres when deciding how it should be distributed. Obviously, you don't want to put a story for young girls right next to Elfin Lee, so you- I haven't seen Elfin Lee, but I hear it's pretty wacky and crazy. But yeah, you gotta- it's all business. You gotta understand who your audience is and promote products that aligns with that audience. If you give, you know, if your main audience is a bunch of kids and you give them, you know, one Piece, Naruto, great, they're gonna enjoy it. But you give him like Evangelion Neon Genesis, right? Or like some really, really deep, heavy storytelling and stuff like that. Or even completely op the opposite, you know, the uh, opposite uh, demographic. What is that? It's uh, not Seinen. Seinen is basically a little bit like older than Shonen audience that's into more edgy, you know, darker themes. It was the, um, fuck, it, it's the show where it's just for girls. It's not Shonen. Shoujo, that's the one. Yes, there's shonen, then there's shoujo. You don't want to give them shoujo content to a bunch of shonen audiences and vice versa. You have to group together titles you believe appeal to the same audience. So the whole content of the publication is attractive to the people you would like to purchase it. There are four main manga and five main anime demographics in Japan. Shonen, shoujo, seinen, and jose. I I'm not very familiar with Jose though. Because again, Shonen, younger men. Seinen, a little bit older, more into deeper, darker themes. Shoujo, young women. Jose, I'm not sure. Maybe it's the equivalent of Seinen for young girls. I'm not sure. And we're going to start with Shonen. And Basically, Seinen for girls. Oh, got it, got it. As a point of focus, these are the. <laughs> So then, what, 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 is it, what is it for uh, older girls then? Is it a bunch of smut? Is it those like webtoon series that we saw where that guy makes content about the most ridiculous webtoons and how it's all like this queen has ultimate power and she goes on enslaving all these beautiful men and take them into her chambers and collars them all. Like, is, is it like that kind of shit? <laughs> or what, what is it? What is it? 
the story is targeted primarily at a young male audience, your schoolboys. They okay. will focus on topics likely to be appealing to young to teenage boys, like sports, picking yeah. up girls, and fighting, or anything similarly. Yeah, action, unga bunga, right? Bunch of dumb, stupid, horny kids. What do they want? Hype action, hot girls. Hype. That's it. Just fun. Go, go, go. Intense or competitive, and a common theme will be rising as some form of underdog, bettering yourself through hard work and achieving Never giving some up. sort of lofty goal. And I think that is so important to my personal development growing up as I felt very alone and depressed, but watching and consuming a lot of these battle shonen shows and the theme was always about never giving up, always surpassing your limits, never give up, stopping a pussy power of friendship, all those different themes are, I think, very good to kind of build up resilience and, you know, this theme of, again, never giving up. These themes are where demographics separate themselves from each other. Let's imagine a story with both fantasy and romance elements. Okay. Written for shonen fans, that'd be this season's number dun -dun -dun. one hit, Dan Dan Dan. What about for the other main demographics? Well, Satan's for Berserk. males and that's where Berserk would fit in. Shoujo targets a young female audience, so we'd have My Happy Marriage. And Jose is for adult women, so my next life is a villainess. <laughs> Wait a minute. Are you telling me all the villainous isekais that we've been farming were hitting the Jose audience? Is that what you're telling me right now? Because this is something we consume a lot. The villainous shows are so good. They're so sassy. They're so petty. It's so fun. All roots lead to doom. Fits okay. the bill. Four stories, each with romantic elements and fan. I didn't realize that I was the Jose audience, man. That's crazy! Fantastical powers that couldn't possibly be more different because even though the genres line up, the demographics are all different. Put simply, a genre describes story elements while mm. a demographic describes who the story is supposed to appeal to. Exactly. And I think this is such an important concept to understand if you're trying to create like a community on YouTube off of any type of content. And in my content in the you know, niche of anime reaction, the reason why we can't be farming Bleach, the reason we can't be farming One Piece and all these battle shonens is because of the demographic of audience that I've been appealing to. We've been doing a lot of random shit like Isekai, right? Harem, um, just comedy. There's a lot of different things that we've been farming due to the nature of, you know, weekly seasonal content that I've been farming without like a plan in my head that's created this audience of mainly isekai enjoyers who are also into, you know, harm shit, you know, the Kumer content. And it's really hard to break out of that demographic into trying to introduce in like a younger audience that enjoys, let's say even Kaiju 8. Kaiju 8 in my channel did okay. Jujutsu Kaisen did okay. But compared to the numbers of actual channels that has an audience just for that, the discrepancy, the difference is quite shocking. So genre, right? It's kind of like these categories of different, you know, um, storytellings. And then the demographic is the audience that adheres to those categories. With Don the Don being so stupid popular at the moment and being one of the rare stories that brings romance into a traditional battle shown, and mm -hmm. I thought now was as good a time as any to clarify that point that's been confusing anime fans since the beginning of time. And while I've got your attention, I'd at time? I'd like to take this opportunity to tell you about a story I really like that Never mind. spits in the face of everything I just tried to explain to you. What? Surviving Romance. Surviving Romance is the title? This is an isekai romance title. Oh, this is Korean! This is Korean. Saranamun Romance. This is an isekai romance time loop regression zombie apocalypse survival. Wow, that's a lot. Isekai, time loop, zombie apocalypse. I feel like that's right up our alley. Thriller. I've spoken a little about this before, but I have subscribers now, so this is a. Let's go. Let's go, Kenchan. Uh, yeah. This is, you know. It's sad trying to put in the best work and your video doesn't get accepted well. It's all about hitting the audience. 
that you have and the kind of content you make, right? But hey, you're, you're growing. 17K sub, let's go. I have subscribers now, so this is a perfect chance to push my propaganda and get people to read this peak. Let's go. Hear me out. This is Cherin Yun. She was originally the protagonist of the novel I Love You Every Day, a perfectly normal high school romance. This does not look normal to me. She looks like a yandere. And story about a perfectly perfect girl who ends up with an absolute sweetheart. Unfortunately for her, she gets her body and whole life hijacked. Okay. For an unknown reason, a tragic reader of Cherin's novel comes to inhabit her body, and this new Cherin loves that she finally gets to live a perfect life, uh -oh. relishing every moment leading up to the great. You think it's a guy or a girl that, you know, went into the body of this main character that was the consumer of this, you know, novel that got reincarnated into it. Today we witness in chapter one, the male leads love confession. Okay. New Cherin follows every- <laughs> <laughs> She's not even trying to hide it, bro. Look at her face, bro. Tiny little detail from the novel to make sure nothing goes awry, and that leads her right to the fateful moment and fateful spot where it's all meant to happen. But even though she followed the script, it looks like Romeo's copy got lost in the mail because he was not supposed to show up as a zombie. Plot twist. Is it because of the reincarnation that's changing all the fucking story themes right now? Or did she not read the story enough and didn't realize the zombie tag was on the fucking title? Cherin gets away, but the apocalypse is already in full Interesting. swing and she gets mobbed. Only to wake up at the start of the same day! <gasps> Re zero time. Boyd's going to school, she dies instantly, but if she makes it to school, she falls victim to the zombie hordes, unable to save the one person who means anything to her. Her infinite loop of suffering begins, and she seems destined to suffer perpetually, until one loop she loses her sense of self. Going through the motions, mindlessly walking to her gory death, she gets saved. Hmm. Who saves her? She has no idea. The random Since dude? she came to this world, she obsessed so deeply over just one boy that every other person just appears as a shadowy indi- Oh. So, wait, you're telling me there's another dude that's been thirsting after her the entire time that's been brought in now? Distinct haze to her. Everyone's an extra. She didn't care before, NPCs. but after years of living through this tortuous day, the real male character the shows up. The first time she worked with someone, the first time she had a friend, the first time she felt happy to be alive. As she finally begins to form a human connection with someone, the haze begins to clear to Who reveal is it? her true form. But before she can even say her name, she her name. is killed. What the fuck is this story, dude? Every time you build up towards something, a big moment of catharsis, it's like, nope, yoink, uh-uh. We're gonna subvert your expectations again. Boom, you thought that the dude that you never cared about is now gonna be the new man's? Nah, 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 nah. Back to the head. I have no idea whether this was made for man, woman, young, or old, but I know who it was meant for, and it was meant you. for me. Cherin's story of learning to see the extras as people so she can form a band to resist the zombies and find the person who restored her will to live okay. is beautiful. It has a bit of something for everyone. Definitely go check it out on Webtoon. This felt like a fucking Webtoon ad. The sponsor of today's video. You got me. You motherfucker. You got me. And you know what the best part is? The title says anime fans are really dumb. I am dumb. I fell for it. I got clickbaited by the thumbnail. I got clickbaited by the title. He proved his point that I'm so dumb and gullible that I sat through an entire webtoon ad. Holy shit. You gotta respect the hustle, man. <laughs> Please. Go give Mr. Kenshan. Like in the video, you gotta respect the hustle sometimes, man. At least he's being brutally honest about it. Shit, you got me. That Kenchan got me good.